you very much. Again, I have the great pleasure and honor of being here because being a, um, a fan of John Lennon, mm -hmm. I do a show called Just Imagine, if you haven't seen it. Well, through that, I got to meet this enigmatic gentleman, <laughs> scholar, and Beatle expert, <laughs> former musician, probably still plays, in fact, Mr. John DeMore, everybody. <laughs> beyond uh, comic books. And, uh, <laughs> but I read this book and I was moved. I mean, at the end, when, uh, I don't want to spoil anything, but uh, that would be nice. when the Godfather is spending his last days on earth, I, I wept. Uh, it's an amazing saga, uh, something that really seems like fantasy. But the truth is it happened. And it happened because we're <coughs> going to live some of it with the uh, author, and the guy that it's all about, John himself, who at 23 was whisked off to Las Vegas for his uh, birthday, I believe. Uh, 22, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> a year after I graduated high school, so he's a little bit ahead of me. But, uh, <laughs> but the book's a fantastic read. If you haven't read it, you must get it. And you must read it. It's a fast, frenzy, fantastic book about something that I probably never would have survived. The, I think they call it the mob, the family. Uh, yay! Anyways, um, I don't know if John um, was kidding me or not, but uh, I'd love to get you up here to sing one song with me. What song? If you went red tonight, remember what I said tonight. John! Forever. What's more, it's true, yes it is. Scarlet were the clothes she wore. Everybody knows I'm sure. I would remember all the things we planned, understand. group and especially beautiful women is a testament to John <laughs> because from what I've read before I got to know this guy it's just unbelievable but we get to share a little time with him today which is wonderful and uh, he's gonna do a reading on the boss's back I was in Florida I believe when he was first touring, but he'd been touring for forever four years He's on just about every radio station that will have him, which is fantastic. So you don't really need me anymore. I thank you. John, I thank you. I thank you. Let's welcome to the stage Mr. John D'Amour. This is always what I have to load them like. <laughs> they always do something, and I come on. <laughs> 